patience. You just back that trailer in perfectly right where you want it in your site and your level side to side. So now let's get the rest of this process done so we can start stressless camping. The most important thing to do first is to put some wheel chocks on the front and back of your tires so that you don't have to worry about your trailer rolling when you release it from the truck. We've got really good heavy duty rubberized wheel chocks. Don't use those little cheap plastic ones, okay? Those are so scary. Make sure you get them in there tight. You might use a rubber mallet or something. Get them in there tight, do both sides. Okay, now the trailer's not gonna roll when we take it off the truck. So let's get this part. This is not hard. It's just a little bit tight. Get your foot back on. Sometimes people have a wheel and sometimes that wheel will fold up and you don't have to do this process. You just have to bend that wheel back down. You've got your latch pinned in during your trip because you don't want this coming loose because that will come loose. That would be a bad thing. So we keep this locked. And then we're gonna need to take the stabilizer bars off. So we have to lift the trailer high enough that those bars are no longer stuck to their brackets. So we're gonna lift. So quick thing, we're actually using the power tongue jack to lift the back of the truck, which then takes the pressure off the stabilizer uh, bars. Okay, so you can see that the bar is held in with a bracket, with a, a kind of an L-shaped pin, held in by a cotter pin. Pull the pin, pull the pin, and then, do not work too hard at this because you will hurt yourself. If that doesn't slide off like easily like that, which this side didn't, lift it up higher because you don't want to be pulling and all of a sudden have it pull loose and smack yourself in the knee because that hurts. <laughs> that can actually be a trip to the hospital. Yeah. All right, so those are loose. So the way ours come out is this release here. You pull out and those, this is a bad angle, sorry. Those come straight down. Pull that off on both sides. And then you're ready to release this. But you can't release it right now, but it's latched because there's putting too much pressure on there because it's lifted up. So back down we go. It's released. Now we can go back up. This hitch will come loose from that ball. Hey, we made sure that we put the wheel chocks in, right? Right, okay, keep going. Now we can take the safety chains off. I don't do it before because just in case those wheel chocks didn't work out or we're on too much of a hill, this is a good safety feature so that the trailer doesn't roll. Go ahead and release your chains. Release your trailer brake cable, which we'll talk about another time. Unplug the power from the truck. And now I'll go ahead and take this side out because I didn't do it before. Mm -hmm. 
And now you're ready to pull your truck away from the trailer so that you can level your trailer front to back. Turn that refrigerator on and get a cold soda.